All right, guys, we're about to unbox the Wi-Fi 6 long range from Ubiquity. I'm excited. This is on pre-order. It's coming. We're gonna rock it out right here. Let's open this sucker up. I'm excited to see how big it is. There we go. All right, let's see this. Pull the line us there. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, wow. This is awesome. Oh, this is very interesting. Different than the other ones. A big old thing of rubber. Oh, wow. It has a big old rubber insert in it that comes out. Very, very interesting. That kind of seals it for outdoor use. That is awesome. Let's take off the top of this sucker. <sighs> nice, heavy. Premium beauty. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, this is awesome. So we'll get the numbers up and I'll be doing some speed tests. And you know what? I'm excited. I mean, my phone's not Wi Fi 6, but my wife's is. We usually keep our phones for two years before we get another one. So um, she'll pay uh, for the upgrade. We do the upgrade thing. So after two years, she just got her new upgrade because I got mine last time. So I'll have to wait two more years and then I'll get my next upgrade. But we always do that. We never have a problem. We keep good care of our phones. Uh, this is awesome though. This is awesome. Let's see what comes in. Template for the wall, of course. Big mounting bracket. Oh, this is kind of like this. Cool too. Oh, okay, so it has all different types of mounts here on the side. It has like labels, so it says wall mount, uh, 3.5 uh, junction box. So it has, uh, let's see, square junction box, single gang outlet box, four uh, inch round junction box, and European outlet box. So it has different letters on it that you can basically follow that have all the information of where you need to mount it depending on what you're gonna mount it to. This is the ceiling bracket mount. So this one, let's see here. Oh, it probably goes this way. Yep. Just like this. And this will turn that and lock it in. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Alright. See what we get in here. Ooh, hardware in here? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh wow, okay, so it came with all the screw stuff very nicely. Oh, I definitely like this. This looks legit. Do a little Allen wrench tool. Uh, we got the wall inserts. I mean, everything. This thing is awesome. Freaking awesome. They do a great job. I love the packaging, like always, from Ubiquity. Uh, let's see here. to set up card you scan with your IR sensor to set up quick. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Guys with the long uh Unify 6 long range, you can also change the color of the LED. They have a whole color spectrum that you can create your own colors and stuff like that. It works great. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not necessary for an office or a business, but I mean, who knows? Depending on if you want a cool gamer style business or a retro, I mean, laser tag place. That looks sick on the wall, laser tag, but who knows? It just depends on the atmosphere and the mood. I mean, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, I've been using the Unify 6 long range now for about, I would say, three weeks. Loving it. Works great. Get to 500 around the house on the max. Usually 425 all the time, no matter what's going on in the house. Works wonderful. Every device in my house connects perfectly good, except one. And I've looked online, we'll say it's just because it's the APs but it's really dang annoying. The only thing that doesn't connect, even the $8 smart plugs are connecting to it, no problem. But the Lenovo smart clock isn't connecting to it. And I looked online, it was, oh, it's the clock's problem, it's the clock's problem. My AP is different, my AP is different than the device, so it'll connect. 
what is up? Connects to my Linksys router instantly, every time. So it's just annoying. I've tried every setting out there. It just won't connect. That's the only thing. And I want to get rid of that Linksys router, but it's like, oh, I love that clock. And it's just like, oh, it's so annoying. But that clock is cool. It's perfect size. It's just, it's awesome clock. I love it. And hopefully Unify or Lenovo talk together and get it worked out and make it just work and pair easy. The only way you can set up that clock is if you go to the Google Home app and you pair it to your phone. You have the Bluetooth connect to the clock and then it says, oh, connect to the same Wi-Fi your phone does. And boom. Just won't do it. So no the problem. Try every setting on the Unify possible. But otherwise than that, the AP is wonderful. That AP works great. Every other device in the house, from I even just tried old devices because I was just wanting to make sure my PSP worked. I mean, everything, everything worked. I mean, no problems whatsoever. So I would say, hey, you know, rock and roll and get one. I mean, it's a great price. And I tell you what, they work good. No problems. All right, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see your guys' feedback. Have a wonderful day. Please have a rock and rollin' week. Mm.